Hello, and welcome to this linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about another part of handling returns in linked POS. There are two main types of returns in linked POS, sales returns and purchase returns. This video will be going over purchase returns. Purchase returns refer to when you have some excess stock or item defects and want to return the items back to the supplier. To perform a purchase return, head on over to the Purchase tab. In the drop-down that appears, click on this Purchase button. This will open up a table showing all your purchase. Search for the purchase using the criteria selector and entering the invoice number in the search bar. Double click on the purchase and this will open up a detailed form of the purchase. To return a stock back to the supplier, click on this return purchase button. This will open up a form that allows you to enter the quantity you want to return. Enter the quantity and hit complete. This will open up the payment window. This is where you choose your method of payment and the amount paid. Hit OK and this completes the transaction. To view your history of returns, head on over to the Purchase tab. In the drop-down that appears, click on this Purchase Returns button. This will open up the history table with all your purchase returns. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.